Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. I'm pretty excited today because uh, I finally got the uh, PAR-OA144 uh, antenna I ordered in the US. It's a, um, a loop antenna for the uh, two meter band. Uh, it's to use with uh, USB. As you've seen, I've been playing with uh, two meter USB and uh, find it to be very efficient for regional contacts. And uh, uh, I was uh, surprised to see how well it works. And uh, I have to say, I didn't expect uh, good results like that, uh, even on 10 watts. So, I might just uh, rethink a little bit my uh, regional comms uh, setup, uh, although I really don't have anyone to talk to <laughs> right now. But uh, there are people around and I found a few and uh, I don't know if they're into prepping or not, probably not, but um, it's still a, a good thing to have contacts around you, uh, people you might be able to ask information from uh, if needed so um, and of course if you set that up you know two meter uh, USB communications between uh, someone you know and yourself no problem that's fine uh, you can have uh, you can cover pretty uh, long distances maybe not all the time but uh, uh, you will reach a bit further than you would with uh, FM which is less efficient so the uh, antenna arrived and uh, we'll have a quick look in the box and then I'll, uh, I'll put it together and uh, plug in the IC251E and give it a try. What surprised me about the uh, OA144 antenna is how small it is. The, um, the box uh, had the antenna already assembled in it. There were assembly uh, directions, but of course I didn't have to use them. And there it is. It's just very light, one pound only. And yeah, it's pretty small. It even fits in a carry-on luggage. So you could take it on vacation. Here we have a uh, fiberglass uh, spacer. I got it with an N connector. There is a balloon in here. And here you have the mount system. To mount it on a tube. And caps. You actually adjust the SWR by sliding the rods here inside the square tube. Here you have some uh, heat shrink tubing. It's not a beam antenna, so uh, it's only going to be as efficient as uh, a dipole, or maybe even slightly less, because it's omnidirectional, meaning that uh, the antenna being mounted horizontally, it radiates all around, and it's horizontally polarized. So the signals coming from this antenna won't be received by a vertical antenna, only by a horizontal antenna. Otherwise, the uh, attenuation is, uh, is too great to, uh, uh, to be useful. Uh, I mean, the signal received uh, would be, I think, 20 decibels uh, less, which is uh, a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to mount it. I brought my uh, fiberglass pole. Um, I'm not going to be able to use the upper sections because of course this has to be a little bit sturdy, uh, mounted in a, in a sturdy fashion. And uh, if I use the, uh, the end of the fiberglass pole, uh, it would bend and it just wouldn't work, it would break probably. So uh, my six meter pole, uh, I probably will be able to use three or four meters out of it, but you know, it will get the antenna in the clear and we'll be able to uh, see it work. Let's do it. The weather is so nice today. It's not very often in the north of France. <laughs> the winters are pretty bad. But of course we're in July. You can see my battery setup here. This is a Molex connector. Going to the battery with Anderson poles. And I also have connected here a voltage monitor. 
It isn't flickering basically uh, when I look at it, but on the camera it is. And the radio. So I had to take out five sections of my uh, fiberglass mast here because the screws uh, don't have the threads. The threads stop about here, so uh, I, you can't use something any slimmer uh, as a mast. Uh, I wish PAR would uh, change that and uh, allow people to use a smaller mast for portable operations. So PAR probably getting about three meters which is half of the pole. It's not bad, but I wish I could have uh, gained um, probably one more meter, three feet extra would have been nice. I'm using LMR 195 coax. Using RG 174 on uh, two meters is, <laughs> is not advised. I would say the LMR 195 would be the minimum. Actually, I would prefer LMR 240 uh, UF Ultra, Ultra Flex. That would be much better, but uh, let's put it up and uh, plug it in the radio. You know, I was going to install this antenna permanently, but uh, I might just use it for portable operations. SWR is about 1.6 to 1 at uh, 144.2. So I'll have to lengthen the antenna a little bit, but I'm not going to bother uh, right now. I'll do it later. I will just want to make a contact now. So this antenna is uh, omnidirectional, as I mentioned, so it's not going to get you very long distances, but uh, its main use, in my opinion, is to map out your RF surroundings. It's to find out who is where using what, if people are uh, using, for instance, 2 meter SSB um, in your region. And that information could be very useful. CQ, 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 CQ. Ici F4, WBY, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QRZ. WBY, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, SK3SB. Ah oui, Patrice, c'est bien ça. Hein? Bonjour, ici Gilles, F4, WBY. Ah, bonjour, Gilles, oui, mais je suis dans la mauvaise direction. C'est la raison pour laquelle et je te prends un petit peu décalé. Je passe sur 320, ok Je tourne l'antenne. 320, bien reçu, F4, WBY. Oui, je vais prendre la direction. L'antenne est dans la direction maintenant, ça devrait aller. Ah oui, là, largement. Hein. Tu passes à 9 plus 10 ici. Hein. Pas de problème. Euh, bah là, je suis en train d'essayer une nouvelle antenne. Hein. J'essaie une antenne euh, euh, omnidirectionnelle, un loop. Ça vient de chez euh, euh, PAR, P-A-R aux États-Unis. Et ça a l'air de marcher pas mal. Hein. À toi. Ok, non, je connais pas. Hein. Moi, j'ai changé de matériel aussi ici, Agile. Actuellement, je suis avec 9 éléments. 9 éléments, des cassettes ZB. Euh, j'ai pas beaucoup, hein. par contre je n'ai qu'une quinzaine de watts actuellement hein, avec un transverter. Success today. I was lucky Patrice saw me on the uh, scope of his uh, IC7300. Um, there's no propagation today, so another contact would have been difficult, uh, if not impossible. It does show, however, that uh, the antenna works fine. It's very useful to map out, again, uh, the RF landscape around you, who's where. You're not going to use a directional antenna and spin it around all the time to, to find out who's where. So uh, not to mention the cost of uh, an antenna rotator, uh, you know, a few hundred dollars. Uh, instead, you have an omnidirectional antenna, which uh, does receive everything around you. And that's great. So thumbs up to EAR for making it, because um, there aren't many of them, uh, you know, especially horizontally polarized again because you can't use a vertical, in that case, for a 2 meter USB. So, a very good product, I'm happy with it, I'm glad I bought it. And uh, that's it for this one, guys. Have a good one.